to see obex this is going to be a small little tutorial on how to do just like a thumbnail because um i mean my thumbnails before or our thumbnails before were like okay but you know i, I learned how to do a new kind of set of, of thumbnails and stuff like that but anyways um it's going to be kind of i'm going to recreate this uh but yeah i'm going to recreate this uh just be able to end up making a new file uh 1280 by 720 is your dimensions resolution the higher the better but obviously the higher the resolution, the higher the size of the um, image, and that's gonna end up, you know, taking longer than or taking taking longer to like, to load and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, you want to do that, and then um, you you first want to start off with creating just like a background. So I already have like a folder with all the stuff that I need for this. Um, so just end up making a background. Uh, press enter. Um, you could do different other they do different stuff. I mean, I don't like using the background like a white background, so it's pretty useless. But if you do just the regular, uh, this will be your background. Um, you want to do uh, filter, uh, blur, Gaussian blur, um, and then kind of like blur out the background. Um, you says, I mean, it's gonna making a small difference, but I mean, it's just smaller details that you could put into your thumbnails. Anyways, um, and then you want to create uh, a new one. Uh, and then your um, gradient you want to do just like whatever uh, gradient you want. I'm interested in doing orange and like yellowish. It's gonna be this one right here. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be mine. Um, probably do actually no. I want to do a different color. It's probably like red and like a yeah. It's fine with this one. So just red and orange. Uh, which just gonna be the, the one that I'm gonna use. You want to do that um, up here. Instead of normal, one, do I mean you could do like multiple, like just different ones, um, like you know it doesn't matter which actually it kind of does matter, but you know it's up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna do this one, and then once you have that, you could see which kind of like different like way you want the, the gradient to go. I'm just gonna do it like that, uh, and if you want to change like the the blurry, if it's like too blurry, then you could just um, uh, change this by clicking on this. Just kidding. Yeah, actually, never mind. Yeah, just by clicking on that, and then you can just end up changing it. it. Makes it a little bit more blurry or less blurry, depending. Um, and then you want to bring the whatever else like image. Let's say you're gonna use like an image like this. Uh, make sure he is above this one. So make sure uh, the whatever like character you can end up doing. Because uh, I'm just using the fire break from Black Ops Three. Uh, you don't have to use this if you don't want to. Um, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, just so it could seem a little bit bigger. Um, okay. Um, yeah, that's that. And then, actually, because you see how see how this stuff. Hold on. See how this things right here. You can see like in the background. I'm gonna end up cutting that off with uh, to select it. And then I well, well I got this picture from the from the internet, um, but I guess they fucked up. Um, and did it end up doing that? But I'm just undoing it. I'm end up cutting it, uh, or just like deleting, like just bits by bits, because obviously it's not gonna look good without it. All right, now that you have the um, like everything finished, actually I need, I need to da 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 da. I need this little part right here. Okay, now that you have that finished, um, you put it, you know, wherever. So it's gonna, you're gonna leave it there. You're gonna end up changing. Um, like the background and like everything else right now in a bit um, You just you just need to put that there so you know where to put your text because there's text going to be uh, Like the kind of like the main thing that pops out that, that way you the people that are gonna be watching your video or like the watching like Scrolling through YouTube, you know the the title pops out the most um, So I'm gonna end up just typing whatever um, don't use just like any normal like font you can just do like whatever um, I'm just gonna do thumbnail uh, make the first one um, just like a little bit bigger. I'm gonna change the color right now, um, but just do that like that. Um, you could change the font, but don't use just any like just normal one. Don't do um, don't do like da, 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 da. don't use like a serif or like a cent. Just like just any like random one. Don't use that. Just use like a, a actual like an actual good thumbnail um, or uh, actual good like font. My bad. Um, I don't like this. Mm, you can do that one. 
Impact, a lot of people use Impact, it's up to you if you want to use it or not, but um, I'm going to do two different fonts, two different colors. So the first one's going to be right there. Um, you want to right click on here, but select pixels, um, go on like on whichever, either this or, or like the eraser, click on it, and then it's going to say this type, whatever, the text, just click OK. Uh, and you can go to the gradient, go up to the gradient, and then make uh, one of them like gray-ish, and then the other one, make it white. So they kind of have a little like gray and white kind of thing. Go back to your gradient. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see um, what I'm doing. So to move it up, uh, if you could, you could do like whatever size, but I just do shift. You hold shift, click, and then go up. It has like the dark up on the bottom, lighter up top. Press Control D. You deselect it. Come back over here. Right click, uh, blending options. You click on that, and then you're gonna end up hitting on inner glow. If you click on inner glow. Um, like, I'm going to end up doing, I'm just going to do like maybe like a random color like this one just so you can see like what I'm kind of doing. Um, it's going to be really hard. It's like, it, again, this is just a small little detail that you could do. But anyways, um, I don't know if you can see like mm, like what I'm doing, but yeah, that's, that's just making that and then uh, put it to white. That way you kind of see like a small little border-ish a little bit um, down below. Uh, drop shadow, click on that. But to do um, the spread, move it all the way down. Um, size, move it up a little bit. Actually, let me let me zoom out. Uh, go back on here. Blending options. Um, drop shadow. Cool. So you could do just kind of like play around with it to see kind of like what fits like your like needs for just whatever drop shadow you want in the back. Um, that seems fine. That seems fine. Okay. Do that, and then your second word. Um, should do like video or tutorial tutorial uh, okay and then I'm gonna do a different font for this do like this one airstrike is like my favorite one so far just like making like thumbnails airstrike is like pretty dope um, make that bigger um, you can make it you could distort it if you want like a lot of people don't like or just don't like to distort you know text but I mean it's, just, it's a thumbnail it doesn't matter um, right click again, you can do the same things you did from over there to down here. Um, let's select pixels. You're going to end up making this um, just maybe when making this like maybe orange ish and then like a darker orange. Like that. that seems gnarly. Okay, cool. Um, same thing. You go in here, you just press OK and then make the darker in the bottom is what I usually prefer to do. So that, uh, deselect, and then right here, this FX thing, you click on it, if you press all, if you hold all and click and hold, and drag it, I'm just kidding, wrong thing. You end up doing that, ends up, it ends up, you know, just changing it. But if you see, it's the white border from up here, so it changes all the effects that you did from the, stuff, the thumbnail, like Word, um, to the tutorial Word, so I'm just gonna end up double clicking, I'm well, not double clicking, right clicking on that, Blending tool, go to inner glow. Uh, instead of Y, you're gonna do like the same color of the top one. Um, and I just, eh, I'll do like maybe that's that seems pretty close. Let's me that. Press OK. Um, so that's like the, that's like the wording. Um, and then what you want to do is, is click on tutorial, uh, shift, click thumbnail, uh, Control T. Um, so you, you could end up moving both around. Um, you want to go on this end right here. Actually, you want to press Control first, and on this end, see see how the HN is changing from like a little arrow, you know, extender to like a little white arrow. You want to do that. Click on the bottom one, make this bottom one like this. Do the same thing with the top, so it kind of seems like it's coming at you, or just it's like you know, it's it makes like some dimension on it. Um, press Enter. Now it's like that. Okay, so now that you have that, you position it where you want. You could make it a little bit bigger. Um, it's just basically your personal preferences. So this going to be that for the wording. Now back to um, the the fire break, the, the, your gaming character. So what I'm gonna do is click on that. I mean, th you, this works for like if you want to use like a gun or just you know whatever. Um, this is basically what you're gonna do with it. So right click on that. Uh, blending options. You're gonna do uh, outer glow, and then. Uh, I'm gonna use the same color. I use, I usually, the glow that you want to use out here should be like similar to the same color that you use for the bottom letters. Um, so since I already used it, it's like basically the same color. Um, 
and you want to copy this color right here. You want to press Control C, or depending on on if you're using Mac, then Command C. Uh, but you want you want that you want that to be saved. Uh, you want that, and then you can end up doing uh, Inner Glow as well. Um, and you could change that to however like much you want. Do Stroke, Stroke just to you could either do um, Multiply. No, just kidding. Yeah, multiply and have this at white. Um, so it kind of has like little like dissolving kind of a thing. You could do that or you could just end up making it um, black and then um, just like normal. And then having the that outside. Um, I'm going to do mine maybe like the, maybe five. Five. Okay, whoops. I want to do that and then you could do a drop shadow in the back. Um, you can make this a little bit bigger, the spread a little bit bigger. Um, it showed up too much. Okay. Play around with it to the point where you get like there, but not like too much. I end up making this down down again. Um, that's that's solid right there. Cool. So you want to keep it like that. So now it looks a little bit better. Um, so that's you're done with with that. You want to change like you know, some stuff. You want to change like the colors or um, the size of, of the outer glow. You can end up making that bigger if you want um, or just increase the spread. Uh, it's up to you. And then after that you want to make another layer on top of this one. So you click the, the layer. Um, you want to go to the the brush tool, zoom out a little bit. You want to make a, like a big brush. Mine's at 1200. Um, same color that you used before. And then to do like this kind of little little brush over here on the outside. If you do it on the inside, it's going to be too much. Uh, just do it on the outside, so it's going to be like a little bit. Um, and then you could either lower the opacity if you want, or just you know basically whatever like suits your your fit or suits you know whatever you want. After you're done with that, it's basically like you could be finished with like like this, or you could add more stuff um, and make it more detailed. I might add more stuff just for the sake of the video. Um, I'm gonna end up adding on top of here. I'm gonna end up adding um, just like shatters and stuff like this. Uh, and all, all of the images that I'm getting is just from the internet. And then you could just basically, you know, make it your own after that. So uh, I'm importing that in there, and instead of normal, I'm just doing multiply, make it just all black. Uh, I'm gonna have this like down here. Uh, I'm gonna end up copying that and bringing that to the top left. That way it could be you know a little bit different. And again, you could just make it, just move it around, make it bigger or smaller depending on how you want it. Um, so that's it with that. You want, and then let me bring in some fire, move this down, and then move this behind everything so it's kind of like like that so it's behind your character your, your like wording and everything um, after you're done with that you could do um, like a gradient I have like different ones I have these two and I have this one I'm just gonna do I mean I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna see what this looks like uh, you could do that or you could bring it down all the way down or hmm. I mean, you could have it like this uh, yeah you can leave it like that if you want um, so there's that, and then you can either lower the opacity if it's like too much, if it's like too dark or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, you could add just like some more little like details if you want, but that's basically the whole like kind of, you know, aspect of, of making like a thumbnail that kind of pops out. Um, but yeah, you know, that's going to be it. If you guys like the video, like the video. If you guys want to subscribe, go ahead and do all that good stuff. Um, if you guys want to see more like, tutorials like this kind of things, or like if you want me to make like a different like, gaming like thumbnails like a fifa one or just like you know whatever like a mario whatever it, it doesn't matter like or just like different tutorials of photoshop i'm hella down to do that uh, just drop it down in the comment section if you want like anything else or like if you need help on anything like photoshop wise i'm hella down to make videos of that but yeah that's gonna be it um i'll catch you guys later Peace.